Today's our last day dog sitting in Austin, and we just got done with Matt's doctor's appointment. We've got some updates for you guys on his leg. But first, we gotta let the puppies out. Hi, Roman. We're back. Hi. <laughs> We're back. Hello. Hi. Watch your face. Oh, hi, sweet girl. Hi. So cute. Hi. Mm. It's still not completely healed. So there's a, I mean, you said that it's healing like it's supposed to. So that's good. Um, the only thing is, uh, that's just the bone part. So the actual, I guess, thickness of the bone or uh, there's, there's less space. I guess, like you know how like in an x-ray you see a solid color all the way down if your bone's healthy. If it's not, then you have like little spots. And so I still have that spot where the break is. Uh, but the bad news is uh, the plateau, which I broke my tibial plateau. Plateau is actually angled down a little bit more than what they wanted. Um, and so what that means is I'll potentially have less mobility in my left knee um, unless I get a different surgery. And they go in and pack more stuff in and add some stuff. And, that's a whole other surgery and a whole other recovery. Yeah. So right now we aren't going to do that. So we're just going to really be aggressive with PT and just see how it goes, really. Uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, you did also get the okay that you can get in water. I can get in water now. I'm pretty sure I had that already. You know, like he would have been like, okay, <laughs> whatever. But no, and also he gave me the okay to start putting some pressure on it. So kind of stand on it a little bit, but not much. So and then he also. Uh, has me doing PT um, with outpatient, so it's going to be a little more aggressive. And so, which is good. It gets me, uh, I think, 50% weight bearing. And then he said in about six weeks, I should be walking again. So, that's pretty exciting. That's pretty yeah, exciting. Six weeks. Six weeks. So, we're going to show you guys. And take oh, off your brace. Also, he said I don't even need a brace anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no more brace. So, let's take that off and I'll show you guys his uh, scar. Yeah. That's, I mean, you guys can see how gnarly that is. It's huge. We got like little dots where the sutures were. It feels horrible, by the way. It's like I can't really feel things. Oh, I can feel enough to where it's like something's wrong kind of feeling. It's like I hate mm -hmm. when people touch my knee right now. It's like this feels horrible. No. And then this feels really sensitive. <laughs> so I love you, Nat. And it's really warm to the touch. And then, of course, he's still got these. Nice. From when you guys remember whenever he had his uh, external fixator on it. So those are nice big scars and you got a nice little book bite in there. Too. Yeah, book bite. But yeah, those are pretty intense as well. But this one <laughs> and the crazy. And a little bit of a little a lot of bit of mu muscle loss. Yeah. A lot of bit, but a lot of it. whatever. Yeah. We'll get you back. Yeah, I'm almost at that fifty percent mark with PT, so got this, babe. Oh, so I saw we. Did we wake you? Did I we saw wake we. You? Oh, thanks. Yeah. My goodness. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to get up. Go back to sleep. So yeah, this is uh, <coughs> our AC system up here. Uh, we just found out a few things about it. You can actually open the vents right here and get a little extra air. On both sides. Feels and, nice. Yeah, it does. It's like if you're hot, you just happened. pull that on. Or yeah. I mean, you can stand in front of all these vents. Our uh, filters, these guys right here, were a little dirty. We found out they're plastic mesh, but it's not like the normal ones that you see in the household that you have to replace. Uh, these are actually the ones that you can wash and rinse out, and then eventually you will have to replace them, but uh, they last a little bit longer, which is nice. Just one thing less for us to do, <laughs> you know, one thing that we have to do. Yeah, we were thinking that we were going to have to buy some already. Kind of fit in right here, and just throw this back on. Pretty easily. And there it is. So it is 4th of July today. We're gonna go spend some time with my family. Um, but first, my gym is closed, so I'm going to go get in a go. I'm gonna step outside and get in some kind of workout. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm gonna show you guys because a few of you are interested in at home or at RV workouts. So hopefully this will be yeah, hopefully this will be helpful for you guys to see um, a very simple workout like the last one that I did. I need to write it up first and change. I'm going to take some pre-workout and then I'm going to get the workout done. Thank you. 
Okay, so we are at Matt's office right now. Hello, Matthew. Hello. We are about 20 minutes away from doing our interview with the RV radio show, so fingers crossed that it goes well. He's got a few little drinky poos. I've got some coffee, and then we're gonna head back home after and then just watch Dexter and go to sleep. So not a really exciting week this week. Below I'm gonna link their website because they post the interviews on their website afterwards. I don't know when it'll be up, probably within a week or so. You guys can watch it even if you don't get to check it live, you can watch it afterwards. So make sure and go check it out and leave us a comment below and let us know what other kind of videos you guys wanna see with the RV life, especially while we're not traveling at this moment. I feel like we're only about a month or two away from the next trip. Yep. Yeah. You know, I'm, things I'm are much, things are looking up as far as Matt's leg goes. So hopefully within the next two months, we will be traveling. And of course, we'll keep you guys updated. But in the meantime, what kind of videos do you guys want to see? Yeah, that's fine. Can you uh, hear us okay? I can hear you just fine. Now, I will tell you that y'all are going to be on for three seconds. So that means that y'all are going to have to listen to some commercials. Okay. Uh, and some bumper music. So when y'all hear the bumper music, that means that we kind of finish up that thought and we can go to break. Yes, we are. Tell everybody about your great YouTube channel and what y'all make videos about. Go slow, Buzz Buzz. Go slow, come on. Half that speed, half that speed. Well, I think that went really well. Concentrating. <laughs> yes. It, uh, we were on, we had three segments, so the segments were like five minutes each, right? Something Maybe like a little five, more? Eight, five to eight minutes each. They basically asked us about like what we do about our channel, our advice for um, other RVers or new RVers. And, but it was fun. It was, it was actually a lot of fun. I was kind of nervous, but I mean, really, we do this stuff all the time. We just, we talk about our life and not knowing what we're doing. That's pretty much what we did and what we do on our YouTube channel. So it's just being ourselves. We were listening to them during one of the breaks and, and they said, we'll have to have them back on. And he kind of asked if we wanted to possibly come back on in a couple months to update him on, on how Matt's leg is doing and how our travels are going. So we'll keep you guys updated, of course. But now we're gonna head home and now we're gonna sign out the video. So. Same goes as before. Let us know what other videos you guys want to see. And... Have fun out there. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.